Welcome, Leo, to reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bring messages from spirit. This reading is general, and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and holy angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring hell and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, so Leo, let's go ahead and see what is the current energy of the person that you are connected to in love. Let's go ahead and find out. All right. Spirit, can you please reveal clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Leo? And what is their energy towards you at this time? What do we need to know about this person's energy? Thank you, Spirit. Please offer clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Leo in love. Thank you. All right, so we have here the world, but it's in reverse, so. Hmm. I really feel like your person is very narrow-minded and they're not looking at things on a global perspective, right? Like they're not um, looking beyond what's in front of them and the reason why is because um they're kind of all tied up so perhaps your person is in state of duality and um let's just say that there is another situationship involved for them to think that way now you know you're only limited to what you believe in if, if that is what you're telling yourself to believe if your person was listening to someone else and say, oh, that's impossible or, you know, that'll never happen or you can't do that, um, they feel stuck. Now, obviously, does this look like, you know, someone who is totally stuck? No, they can break free. They're just trying to look good doing it, right? So I'm not saying your person, um, they, they just really need to possibly do more meditation and kind of see, you know, how things are. Okay, like being a third person uh, perspective, like looking in on, you know, the situation at hand is what I'm getting. And it's about finances. So they're limiting themselves about, I don't know, about their money, their career. Feeling like they can do nothing. Let's see. Now with you, we have a woman holding a heart. This person really feels stable when it comes to their feelings with you. But, you know, with the two fours that I'm seeing here, maybe they're in a state of duality, you know, they're looking for stability uh, within themselves, but also with you. They definitely want to work on a relationship with you. They're holding space in their heart for you is what I'm getting. And we have seven chakra Archangel Uriel. So wow, your person is very spiritual. So again, I'm getting a, like a, a lot of fours here, 44, 41. So they are aware that they need change in order to have a new beginning. But their sense of stability is at stake. So... In a sense, your person feels like they're in a state of duality, okay, which I saw here. You know, they feel like, you know, they're all tied up, but really they're not. 
So are they limited to you know their situation? If they're looking at something like I feel is a tangible thing. Okay, they need to get out of this uh, mindset that you know uh, whatever that they see it must be true. Uh, whatever that they think can also be manifested if they allow themselves to think in that way. So, very interesting, whoever this person is. Let's see. Spirit, can you please uh, give me some clarity and insight in regards to this person who is connected to Leo? You know, uh, with the world here in reverse also, um, this is someone that's close to you. You know, they're nearby. I'm not getting like they're at a distance. It could be, but I'm not getting that because usually with the world in the upright position, this is about someone who's at a distance from you, who is, you know, talking to you remotely, okay, through text messenger or maybe through mind-to-mind -mind connection. But uh, clearly your person is not in that mindset, okay? This person is close by, like I say, trying to look good, smell good, okay? Um... But at least, you know, they feel stable with you, okay? But they're also trying to figure out, like, what's going to work. Let's see. Spirit, can you please offer clarity and insight in regards to this person connected to Leo? Let's see. I was going to shuffle, but let's just cut the deck. Wow, we have spring, but it's in reverse. So spring is around the corner here in the United States. So, this could mean the fall. Yeah, look. We have here an offer, but it's in reverse. So, they're not able to make an offer because they feel like they're stuck. And they may be stuck for the next six months. This person is close by. Okay, so again, you could probably eliminate who this person could be. And it's about family. Maybe it's about them getting out of a family situation. And that's why, you know, they're only looking at, at things, you know, that's in front of them. And it may take a little bit of time for them to maybe move away from the family. But again, they're all tied up, right? Let's see what else. Yeah, it's because of the money I'm dealing with the family. I'm not saying that your person is using um, that as an excuse, like... Um, because of their financial situation, you know, um, they can't let go of their family to be with you. You know, for some, it's a legitimate reason, you know, that maybe their family is codependent on your person for, you know, um, you know, just a way of living. That's for some. So again, we have your tribe, but it's reversed. So this person does not feel that they are a part of your tribe, but they love you, okay? Their tribe is with the family back here, the one that they're kind of tied down and stuck on. That's why they feel like they can't make an offer. You know, the other thing I'm also picking up on is that maybe you guys come from two different backgrounds or cultures, okay? So their idea of what tribe is, you know, may be different than your I idea of tribe. That's why I really feel like there's a difference here between you and this particular person. And um, also, wow, we have our numbing, but it's reverse. So um, maybe they're they're more coherent, okay, with their seventh chakra. That you guys are not. I'm not saying compatible, <laughs> but. They don't feel like they're a part of your team or your family or your group of people, okay? And they have their family, okay? And I really feel like it's about the finances. They can't let go of their family because, you know, they're reliant on them. That's why they can't make an offer, okay? So things aren't really growing. Is not nothing I'm also picking up with the spring card in reverse. Things may not be growing because they're only looking at what's in front of them. Okay, again, that, that's why I keep saying. Now, let's go ahead and see what else. Leo, I mean, not Leo. Spirit. Please reveal to me what clear messages want to come through from this person that is connected to Leo. How are they thinking of you? How are they feeling? 
What do they want and what is the outcome? What is the energy that wants to come through from this person that is connected to you and love? Thank you. All right, so we have your four of cups and it's a reverse. So they are, they are actually feeling motivated. They have a lot of gratitude for whatever, you know, situation that they're in. I really feel like gratitude towards family. Um, I see that they're kind of focused on holding on. Okay. I really feel like it's the family because why? Um, I don't know. It's because they're codependent on them. And I also saw that woman holding a heart with the two fours, right? Four is a, a, a number of stability. Now, whether or not this person is holding on to you for a sense of stability, that's another thing. But I really feel like they're kind of motivated um, because of this energy here. I definitely would say, Leo, that you have to set healthy boundaries with this particular person because, you know, um, they got their own thing going on and then there's you, right? So I'm not exactly sold on the idea that, you know, um, they're so completely in love with you. I really feel like a responsibility and obligation comes first because they are kind of restricted by finances at this time and it's a form of manipulation and they could be coming off a little bit greedy so I, I would just be careful it does feel like a little bit of a red flag here okay and I'm also saying that they may walk away from this so again you know they feel stuck they feel like they can't make an offer they walk away and they're reflecting for some, you're dealing with a Virgo, okay, or they have Virgo in their chart. They're doing some soul searching, and they're really thinking about how they can have a new opportunity. How can this person can move forward? And um, they're thinking about it with their friends. You know, that's what I'm seeing. Uh, I'm also getting that uh, for some, this person is younger than you are. Okay, Leo, that's for some. And... You know, maybe, you know, working on this connection with you takes a little bit of work. And they they quickly got bored of the situation. I'm not saying that you are boring, but, you know, I don't know what this person is looking for. I mean, I, quick and easy is, is the first thing that comes to mind. But, you know, I just feel like that comes with the level of their uh, level of maturity. Because I really feel like for some, you're dealing with someone who is younger than you. Okay. So they're really heartbroken and they're grieving because there is some sort of loss here. And now they're clear that they need to come into alignment with their core values. Okay. And wow, we have your breakup. So there's a breakup here. There's a separation and some sort of temptation about uh, holding on to something materialistic. So honestly, whoever that your person is dealing with, okay, things are not really growing because they can't make an offer, you know, they're, they're kind of tied down to a specific thing. Now, they were looking at you like you would actually be, a, you know, someone who could offer them a sense of stability you know, in love at least, and it could be materialistic, but they're, they're starting to see that in order to have a new opportunity, they need to change, and right now, okay, they don't feel like you're a part of their family, or, you know, you guys are just different, is what I'm getting. Hmm, interesting. Um, yeah, so they feel like a failure. Maybe they made a little argument with you. And I see that, you know, they want to have a new beginning. But they're not putting any effort to work on it. So, Leo, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, that's the energy that I'm seeing about this person. At least they're feeling motivated to change. 
But is it going to be enough? That's the question. Because, you know, they're kind of stuck. They're not making an offer. And I don't know. They're so like fixated on what's in front of them. They're not looking at things from a bigger perspective. So your person could be going through some sort of recovery, like maybe they're seeking employment, maybe they're trying to work more on themselves and they're really feeling conflicted because they're feeling stuck. You know, for some, they actually feel like the victim here and it's because they have a lot of fear. They don't know what to do and they feel like they need to make some sort of decision uh, when it comes to love. I really feel like, you know, your person is deeply committed, but is this really towards you? You know, right now, um, you know, maybe they want things perfect in a sense, you know, and they are learning from the past. They just lack a sense of stability right now. That's what I'm seeing. They can't really make any offers towards you in the physical. That's why they, they seem like they're stuck, but, and they can't give you much. You know, the only thing that they can offer you is love. Because they don't have anything materialistically to offer you at this time. At least so this person thinks. Now in the outcome, they're feeling kind of weak and vulnerable. And they have a lot of anxiety that's going on in their head. And they have a lot of doubt. I have a feeling like your person blames himself a lot for their shortcomings. And, you know, maybe they are a bit unrealistic in, you know, their connection with you. But again, I really feel like they're still stuck on someone or something. There's an opportunity for them to come clean with you and have this opportunity to work on things with you. But I don't know. They're just, I don't know. It's, something's off about this person. Yeah. Maybe it's its like their feelings of self-worth because they they really feel like I don't know. I see her a gold digger, someone who's dishonest. Um, they, they come off as being honest and, and funny, but really, um, it's the opposite. They feel hopeless that this relationship will work. So right off the bat, whoever this person is, they may come to you with the wrong intention. I just gonna have to put it out there, Leo. Okay. So it's up to you to use your own discernment, you know, I would say fill this person out, you know, um, use your spidey senses, if you will, you know, use your intuition about this one, because um, I don't, I don't know. They just look at you like you're, you're someone that could offer them stability, but do they love you? You know, they're holding their heart, but you know, in the very beginning when I saw that card, right, you know, woman holding a heart, look at this. She got the heart up here in her hands away from her body. Is that someone who is in love or are they displaying, uh, you know, ideas of love? She's not even looking at the heart. She's looking behind her. She's like, oh, you know, uh, yeah, here's my heart. You know, she holds it like it's a chore. So I, I don't know. I, I just really feel like, uh, Leo, just be careful with this one, okay? You know, it's not going to be for everyone, but, you know, if that seems like what's going on, then, you know, take it as it resonates, right? So let's see. what it, What is this person's confession here? Spirit, what is it that they would like to confess? What does your person want to confess? What do they want to confess? What does your person want to confess? Really? I don't like the attention others give to you. And I know I should be giving you more. I'm just frozen in fear. Like, they feel like they're not good enough. Okay. Also, I'm sorry if I ever made you question your own worth. You are incredible inside and out. I don't know. 
don't know. Does this person make you feel insecure because they're coming off as insecure? And also, I have deep wounds from childhood to heal. I know you can help me, but I'm too proud to admit that I want or need to be nurtured again. So, this is it. Do you have compassion for this person, Leo? Is, is this someone that you really do love? You know, is this someone that you feel like you can grow into like a, a lifelong connection with? You have to really figure out like, is this one worth worth the fight, right? Worth, uh, you know, giving a shot. You know, this person is deeply uh, hurt, you know, but is it your task to help heal this particular person? Do you feel like it's a part of your karma or your job to be the healer for this one? And then also we have, I'm terrified of losing you due to my inability to be vulnerable. Man, I think that's the, the tagline right there. They're afraid to be vulnerable with you. And one thing I know about Leos is that, you know, you would love to have a sense of vulnerability from your person, you know, a level of transparency, if you will, because you, you would, you would love that type of person who, who has a sense of loyalty towards you, you know, who has that, um, compassionate love. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really picking that up on this person. So let's see. What is the advice or guidance from Spirit? So Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the advice or guidance that you have? Well, we have two. Look at this. Man, look. We have Kuan Yin, compassion. Release judge judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that is within everyone. So again, what did I say? You know, it's going to take a level of compassion if you want to work on this relationship with this particular person. And also, Diana, focus intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you and you will make your mark. So keep your eye on the prize. Have compassion for this one. Especially if you really feel that, you know, you love them. Okay, and as I said, I, I hear like a ring. I've been hearing a lot of ringing sounds lately. It's the strangest thing. I'm getting like, I don't know, phone calls from the upstairs. <laughs> anyway, yeah, focus on your intent. Have compassion, Leo. Okay, especially if you love this person so that's what i have so i hope that that was helpful let me know thank you all for watching and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you can do so at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com you can also follow me on ig as scorpio moon intuition i hope you all have a lovely day and i will see you next time Bye bye mm -hmm.